hello students today we will start enzymes which is the part of the unit second part b in this topic we will study today about the introduction of enzymes and the historical perspective of enzymes students we know that like all alcoholic beverages the fermentation of juices were started to be analyzed and the first chemical transformation catalyzed by enzymes contained within living yeast cell and it was discovered in 18th century and the fermentation or the uh, catalysis that leads to conversion of sugars into carbon dioxide and alcohol in 19th century fermentation was identified as a physiological act of yeast cells and pasteur's view was introduced that life and fermentation are inseparable by now extraction of enzymes from bio cells was known in 1897 e buckner required a quantity of purified protein for therapeutic purpose he grounded yeast and sand filtered the broken cells and added a large amount of sugar to the filtrate as preservative he was astonished that sugar was rapidly fermented by the cell free extract in 1905 harder and young showed that gymnase displayed by buckner required the addition of heat stable cofactor or coenzyme thus within a single decade two fundamental discoveries solubilization of gymnase activity and introduction of coenzyme opened the route of isolation and identification of large number of individual enzymes and cofactors of gymnase system in 1928 J B Sumner crystallized urease and established that enzymes are proteins in nature and are capable of catalyzing specific chemical reactions. In nineteen hundred thirty to nineteen hundred forty, Warburg and his school crystallized and purified a number of respiratory enzymes. Thorell. reversibly dissociated the enzyme into a protein part that is apoenzyme and a cofactor that is a prosthetic group these separated components were inactive all enzymes are globular proteins in 1969 the enzyme ribonuclease was firstly chemically synthesized along with this enzyme structure and various techniques of studying enzymes catalyzed reactions were discovered in 1905 harder and young found that inorganic phosphates coenzymes caused stimulation of carbohydrate oxidation in yeast juice many intermediates in carbohydrate oxidation were found to be sugar phosphate and named after discoverer for example fructose 16 phosphate is harder and young ester lundsgaard revealed the fundamental role of phosphate in muscle biochemistry lohmann Marshop, Lipman, and other brought cellular energetics to enzyme level. They showed that the phosphate produced as a result of carbohydrate oxidation, a high energy phosphate bond, and a very high free energy of hydrolysis. These compounds are said to contain. These are the high energy phosphate bond and high energy hydrolysis. Lipman told that such phosphorylated intermediates are the means which trap the chemical energy of carbohydrate the energy that is used ultimately for the synthetic reactions of life studies were carried out on bacteria 
molds and higher plants also mechanism of enzyme action were mainly carried out and mainly carried out and in 20th century led to two main aspects a group of enzymologists regarded enzyme as a catalytic proteins so apparatus and techniques for obtaining enzymes in pure state were developed established enzyme substrate compound theory first given by macellus and mantin in 1913 in the on the other side work was done considering enzymes as a uh, cog in the ma uh, machinery of cell they worked on biochemical aspect and established metabolic cycles of cellular energetics so here we have studied about the historical perspective and uh, introduction of enzymes now the next lecture will be started on biological uh, importance of catalyst in the next lecture thank you